So welcome to dealing with materials data. In this course we are looking at the analysis, uh, collection and interpretation of uh, data from material science and engineering. And uh, we have looked at uh, several probability distributions and we are continuing with the probability distributions module. And uh, now I want to describe a few more distributions uh, which are of importance to us. Um, and one bunch of distributions which are very useful for us is the chi-squared students T and F distribution. And they are very useful for estimating confidence intervals and for doing modeling that is for doing regression. And chi SQ, T and F are the commands in R for dealing with these distributions. And we are not going to do any tutorial with them right away, but when we do the uh, estimation of confidence intervals and uh, regression and uh, ANOVA and things like that, we will come back and uh, look at these distributions and how they are useful in analyzing data in material science and engineering. So that we are going to do. One more class of distributions which are very important and some of you might have heard some of these is the Maxwell Boltzmann Fermi Dirac and Bose Einstein distributions. Uh, these give probabilities that a particle is in an energy state uh, E. Uh, Maxwell Boltzmann is a classical uh, statistics uh, and it uh, looks at identical but distinguishable particles. And the probability distribution function for Maxwell Boltzmann is 1 by A exponential E by KT. And K is the Boltzmann constant, T is the absolute temperature. So this is the probability distribution function. Fermi Dirac is a quantum um, a probability distribution and it looks at identical and indistinguishable particles with half integer spins. So Fermi Dirac distribution is described by 1 by 1 plus A exponential E by KT. And Bose Einstein is also a quantum uh, distribution and it looks at identical and indistinguishable particles, but the spins are integer spins. So things like radiation then has to be described using uh, this distribution. And the probability distribution function is 1 by 1 minus A exponential E by KT. So it is 1 plus and 1 minus and here there is no 1. So that is the difference. And we will come back and look at Boltzmann distribution in this course in one of the modules to understand some of the simulations that are done and the calculations that are done based on these simulations in statistical thermodynamics and mechanics. Uh, so I am going to stop uh, this session here. So we just mentioned a few more distributions, uh, three of them are very useful for uh, doing uh, data analysis, hypothesis testing, regression and things like that. Three of them are very important in statistical mechanics, classical and quantum statistical mechanics. Uh, so because they are also probability distributions, uh, so in this uh, uh, session we have also looked at them. And uh, we will continue with the probability distribution uh, session. We are almost at the end of uh, this uh, probability distribution module and uh, we still have not looked at uh, uniform probability distribution uh, which can be both uh, discrete and uh, continuous. So that will be the last probability distribution we will look at before we conclude this session on probability distributions. Thank you.